With new advancements in graphics come new ways to terrify. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest modern video game bosses. Good God, look at the size of that thing. For this list, we're looking at the most frightening boss battles from current gen games. Again, we'll only be counting titles from this generation, meaning anything prior to 2013 is out of the picture. Sorry, Mr. Freeze. You're still the coolest in our book. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. Ah! I'm Todd Habercorn and scary video games and I don't get along. Doesn't mean I don't still buy them thinking I'll beat them, but when I get 20 minutes in, I have to tap out. It's like I've just ingested a habanero pepper of pure fear. Ugh. Let's get ready to mojo! <laughs> Number 10, The Thing from the Stars, Darkest Dungeon. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. We can already hear you asking, just what in the hell is that thing? What you're looking at is an eldritch creature that somehow snuck its way into an already spine-tingling, turn-based beast of a game. A shard of alien malignity. This horrifying construction of horse, human and crystal is one of the toughest mini bosses to stem from the color of madness, boasting a high resistance to stun and capable of inflicting massive stress onto your party. On top of that, it can take two turns and cure itself of any ailments while attacking. Might be a good idea to sit down with your group and just brainstorm on a good plan before you try to take this bastard down. Trust me, you'll thank me in the morning. Be gone, fiend. Number nine, The Crones, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Welcome, child of the Elder Blood. This trio of witches, Bruis, Weavis, and Wispus, inhabit the swamps of Velen, both praised and feared by locals as the ladies of the wood. Yum, yum. Sure, they're attractive when Ciri first meets them, but in actuality, they're a bunch of old hags, always in search of their next meal. That and using all manner of cruel concoctions to keep themselves from aging and continue to appear as the gorgeous witches of Beverly Hills. Oops, I spoiled a future DLC. Oh, and uh, don't bother falling for their beauty and charms. It'll be your first and last and worst date of your life. <laughs> Number eight, the Great Serpent. Sekiro, shadows die twice. Snakes, why'd it have to be snakes? If you thought From Software would ease up on players following this latest title, you were sorely mistaken. Meet the giant serpents that guard the Sunken Valley Passageway. While they're technically considered bosses, you're gonna spend way more time cowering and fleeing from them than you are lashing out with your sword. While they aren't the most observant or skilled hunters, they're damn persistent. They'll drag your reborn backside down again and again because in their unblinking eyes, you're just another cute little mouse. Number seven, the Devil Cuphead. It may be rated E for everyone, but the Lord of Hell is not a boss that the little ones can handle. Sure, there's been some terrifying transformations along the way from the likes of Beppy the Clown and Hilda Berg, but the devil is in a league unto himself. Things are pretty manageable in the first phase of his fight. However, as soon as the second kicks in, it starts to get trippy, with his various forms eventually taking up the entire screen. Then just to rub some Himalayan sea salt in the wound should you lose the fight, the fluffy Prince of Darkness will show you the melted remains of Cuphead and Mugman. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Number six, gross. Spider Mastermind, Doom. Ah! 
Lock us in a room with the cyber demon and we'll let loose every weapon at our disposal until each bullet is spent. Trap us with the spider mastermind, however, and we'll just accept our fate then and there. While the creature wasn't too scary during the franchise's early days, the reboot tapped into our fears of both spiders and robots. And if Skynet is listening right now, I love robots. <laughs> Uh, what was it that left us on edge? Its massive size? The fangs? The giant brain protruding from its head? How about the rapid-fire plasma guns and ability to electrify everything around it? Let's just go ahead and mark all of the above. Number five, Rom, the vacuous spider. Bloodborne. At least the mastermind was incapable of spawning miniature versions of itself like a real spider. This, on the other hand, is every arachnophobe's worst nightmare. Joining its fellow bosses in the pantheon of OMG, kill it with fire! This great one will strike terror into your soul the moment you see its hulking form emerge from the moonside lake. Seriously, look at this thing. Everything about its anatomy is so deeply unnatural and unnerving, you don't even want to try to take a swing at it. Throw in its inconvenient and nasty habit of teleporting, and don't be shocked if you have the sudden urge to unleash a blizzard of bug spray around your house. Number four, Marguerite Baker, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. One of the most memorable ways in which the franchise's return to glory distinguished itself was by making each member of the Baker family represent a subgenre of horror. Jack represented slasher flicks, Lucas embodied psychological horror, and Marguerite was, uh, body horror? <laughs> Needless to say, Capcom succeeded in making our stomachs churn with her character design. Really, what's more frightening than an old woman whose lower half is a freaking huh, bug nest and has centipedes pouring out of her mouth? This was a boss fight we may have won, but only at the cost of losing our lunch and dinner and breakfast of the next three days. Number three, Amalgam Alpha, the evil within. He wants the same thing as us. He... he wants out! There are many a demonic creature occupying this hellscape meant to give you an anxiety attack. The Keeper is willing to kill himself just to keep up the chase, and the Watcher is one seriously gross glob of goop. Say that five times fast. Despite the steep competition, we have to give this spot to Amalgam Alpha, a horrifying monstrosity composed of mutated body parts. God damn it! Get in its way and the beast will flatten you into a blood-soaked pancake. Thankfully, there is a way to cheese the fight against it. Simply hide behind a pillar and start sniping away. Just make sure you have enough freeze magnum ammo for the second phase. Otherwise, say adios. Number two, Panzermorder. Call of Duty, WW2. Just when you thought Nazi zombies had run its course in the scare department, along comes this Cronenberg fantasy. Made entirely of flesh and metal, this armor killer has final boss written all over it and is pretty dead set on ruining your day. Just for the record, as an official Haber aside, I have defeated this guy. Yes! It doesn't matter how much armor you've stocked up on, the Reich's secret weapon will make short work of it if you aren't careful. Try not to look at his disgusting structure for too long, or the nauseating sight may turn you from a zombie killing machine to a something that's scared of things and is not a zombie killing machine because now you're dead. So enjoy that. Before we reveal the most disgusting of the pack, here are a few disgusting, scary, honorable mentions. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Guess we gotta hold it for long. That home sound good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Photoshop Flowey, aka Omega Flowey. Undertale. Gardening will never be the same. What was once an adorable yet psychotic flower with dreams of godhood is now a haunting amalgamation of plant, stock photos, and ghastly imagery. Though if you thought his appearance was off-putting, just wait until he unloads with his attacks. Flowey litters the screen with vines and projectiles and his attempts to leave you deader than dead, each one more savage and bizarre than the last. The fight is an overwhelming 10 minutes of torment. So don't be surprised if you need an old priest, a young priest, a memory foam mattress, some Gatorade, and an exorcism to get over this once you get out on the other side. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.